This girl is eating, but what she's eating is not rice but the battery in her hand because she thinks she's a robot. Young Goon grew up living with her grandmother, but the grandmother was mentally ill and thought she was a rat. Soon a hospital ambulance arrives. Grandma takes away her favorite pickled radish, but forgets to bring her dentures. Young Goon chased after the ambulance all the way. But how can a bicycle catch up with a car? That's what children know. At that moment, Young Goon heard the bike say, a robot can beat anything. Since then, Young Goon has been suffering from the same disease as his grandmother. But grandma thought she was a mouse. Young Goon, on the other hand, thinks she is a robot. She followed the factory's radio prompts and first pulled up the antenna. Then she inserted the wire into her wrist and fixed it with tape. Finally, she plugs it into the socket. There is no doubt that Young Goon is in the hospital, in a mental hospital at that, and her symptoms seem to have gotten worse. When she said she was out of power, she would listen to the factory radio to recharge. There was a patient in the hospital named Park. He wears a rabbit mask all day. He thought he could steal people's things. That day Young Goon heard Park say that he stole Thursday last night. But how can people steal Thursdays? Then Young Goon opened the box and found that a pair of shorts was really missing inside. It belonged to Thursday. She believes in Park's powers. So she decides to ask Park to steal her sympathy. From the day her grandmother was taken away by ambulance, Young Goon had a voice in her heart complaining about why she didn't kill the doctors in white lab coats. Young Goon thinks it's because of her compassion, but Park says that once he has the desire to steal, he has to steal what others don't agree to take. Young Goon promised to make sure she would hate him. Sure enough, her grandmother's dentures are missing. <laughs> It's obvious that Park took the dentures. <laughs> Young Goon couldn't stop crying. Park had to pretend to steal her sympathy in order to calm her down. But first he needed to. <laughs> and so Park's ritual of stealing her sympathy was complete. Young Goon flies up the stairs happily and lightly. The girl walked down the hallway and raised her hands. But it was all her fantasy. In reality, Young Goon passed out due to low blood sugar caused by not eating for a long time. Since Young Goon refused to accept medication, the doctors had to give her electrotherapy. They also put her in an incubator. After a short time, Young Goon felt her battery was recharged. There was nothing wrong with her physically, but her mental problems got worse. <laughs> The doctors put Young Goon in a special room and forced her to eat. Park was distressed by her painful appearance. He knew what Young Goon was thinking inside. Park was put in the next room by the doctors when he made a scene. The two of them talked through the microphone. Young Goon rubbed the socks on her feet as he instructed. She was surprised to find that her body had actually become smaller. She was also taken to the meadow by an insect. Of course, these are only her fantasies. Young Goon and Park have a mutual affection for each other. After all these experiences, they kiss in the woods, but Young Goon passes out again. Park realizes that it's because she won't eat. To save his lover, he makes a rice converter with his own hands. He lied that the device could convert the calories of rice into electricity, so that she would only have to eat every day to get electricity to her body. Park pretended to put the converter on Young Goon's bike, but Young Goon was still afraid of what would happen if the converter broke. At that moment, Park took out a business card and said that it would be a repair for the rest of her life. Young Goon finally swallowed her first bite of rice. She felt her heart beating again, and the doctors and patients in the cafeteria started to cheer and jump for joy. But that story doesn't end there. Young Goon thinks she's an atomic bomb. Her purpose in existence is to end the world, but she needs a billion volts of electricity to activate her power of destruction. Park takes Young Goon out into the rainy wilderness to accomplish her goal. They raise their antennae in anticipation of lightning, but all they get is a rainbow in the morning. This is a Korean romantic comedy film released in 2006 called I'm a Cyborg but that's okay. Young Koon and Park are both patients with diseases, but they can listen to each other and go crazy with each other. Maybe some wounds can never be healed, but what's the harm? All the suffering can't stop the world from loving each other. Well, that's it for today's story. Let's explore the wonderful movies together. See you next time.